do 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 You are a very strange one, Grizz. You got guilty eyes. I worry about this guy the most. This guy's, um, his mouth ain't big enough. Right, Timmy? I do have little guys like this, Tiny Tim and Elton John that I'm starting to bond with. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, day number two, and uh, it just took a different raccoon to figure this thing out. Gertie Monster came along, and she pulled out her big teeth, and she lifted those cups off. So finally, it's been conquered after a whole night last night with multiple raccoons failing at it. Hi, Heather. Timmy Timmy's here. Uh, who do I call that guy? Grizz. Mama Moira's here. I forgot all about that new name for Grizz. I was calling him Slobbery Ear for the longest time. <laughs> so Heather, you missed it. Gertie's, Gertie's gonna show you how it's done. You gotta use your teeth. That's the trick, not your claws. She's got a big enough mouth where she can put it around those cups and lift it off. Yeah, she's a big impressive mama. This guy's, um, his mouth ain't big enough. Right, Timmy? But look on Gertie's back. She's got some fur missing. Same spot as Mr. Wiener that day where it was wet. So, I hope uh, mange ain't going around, or maybe it's just their hollows they go in or what they're rubbing against. I don't know. I'm going to have to pay attention to that. You are that weird one. You are a very strange one, Grizz. You got guilty eyes. I don't know why. I do not trust you. <laughs> but he's good right up by me. But doesn't he look suspicious? Look at those eyes. I don't know. I trust you. Probably because I've known you since you were a little pipsqueak. You're kind of newer. You're a little unpredictable. Miss Moira. So I put some apples out there because I saw a few deer in the yard. But it kind of spooked them off when I threw the apples out and I'm hoping they come back. Silly, 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 silly. So yeah, look, Gertie polished it all off. I was filming most of it with my phone. I thought, oh, I gotta grab my GoPro and get some of this on camera. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Gertie was number eight and she took off a little bit ago. And there's a couple others that have been here. Oh, well, there's one down the way. So, yeah, maybe I've seen a dozen different raccoons tonight. And uh, for January, wow, that's saying something. That's pretty rare. So I'm happy about this. Um, I got my raccoons back. And temperatures are agreeable for them. It's chilly for me. But they're doing all right. So this is Circus Circus here. Mama Moira. That is one cute baby right there. Heather. Grizz, Tiny Tim, Gertie was here, the possum was here, oh Grizz, you're a funny one, with that crooked tail, look at that tail in the back, this is my cast of characters, no Mr. Wiener tonight, and I was thinking, and it's a horrible thought, but I was wondering, you know, now that he's of sexual maturity, a lot of animals will move on to new territories, which is actually good for the species to uh, get genetic drift, to uh, mix things up, which makes them healthier in the long run. You don't want a lot of inbreeding. 
And I was thinking, what would he choose? Would he choose this playground and constant food and attention for me over his raging urge to uh, pass his genetic material out to a girl and uh, have some babies? I don't know. He might go look for new territory and man, I'd be devastated to lose that buddy. So I just don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Because I notice uh, the ones I've seen for multi-years, like Moira, they're females. They are the females that stick around year after year after year. Uh, Mr. Wiener, he's still pretty young. He's under two years old. So I don't know. I don't know what they do if, uh, if the males go uh, wandering off looking for new territory. Um, like I said, it's, it's for the best genetically. But uh, I don't want to lose him. And it was just a horrible thought that was going through my mind today. Is, is that urge going to be stronger than his urge to stick around here with me? <laughs> oh, Moira. You big fuss bucket, you. But let's say that does happen. It's out of my control. I do have little guys like this. Tiny Tim and Elton John that I'm starting to bond with. And they might have to, uh, to take over that role. So I'm trying to think if I ever hand fed this, uh, this weird one. I'm sorry for referring to you that way, Grizz, but you are strange. And I might have to try a cookie with him. You just stick with peanuts. I gave you enough cookies yesterday. So this one here, I think, is uh, Circus Circus's uh, baby. See those tufts that come out the side? Just like Mama there. There's Mama Circus Circus. The standing circus bear. Right, Circus Circus? Look at that pointy nose on you. So that's some of that genetic diversity. They, they all look very unique to me, although with 33, I can't remember all of them by name. I do remember most of them by name. Sometimes I'll get confused with the real similar looking ones like Jill and Bill, and both were here tonight. And when they're both next to each other, I have a better, uh, better chance of identifying Bill from Jill. But some can be incredibly similar, and like this one is very unique from the rest, uh, Grizz. There's not another one in the group that looks like him. Timmy, I still haven't figured out who, uh, who your mama is. Uh-oh. I always find it funny when one hears something and takes off, and then the others go, yeah, something's afoot. But the two seasoned adults here, they're like, eh, no problems. Oh, Moira says problems. Maybe those deer are coming back. Here goes a really big buck. I think he smelt those apples, and I think he's the one who scared the raccoons off.
Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. I was waiting for you last night to play the game. Look, it's in the shelf for you and everything. Oh, you're all wet. What were you doing? Rolling in the snow? You missed it. We had some deer in the yard. A big buck came. He ate some apples. Oh. Mr. Wiener, you should have seen Gertie. Gertie took that game and conquered it. I was rooting for you to come along and do that first. Ah, everyone's looking happy tonight. That's good. A little more energy tonight than the other night. <laughs> I haven't seen Cutie yet. She was so sleepy yesterday. It was funny. Funny and sad at the same time. I was feeling sorry for her. Where were you yesterday? I just got a peek of you yesterday and then you were gone so fast. I worry about this guy the most. And he's the one I'm worried about going out and looking for new territory comes mating season which is coming up real fast here and with this warmer weather it might be accelerated. I can't get enough of you. If you are going to leave me for good to go procreate in your in your new homeland start your whole new tribe I've got to get my pets in yeah you're such a good boy I appreciate you oh it's starting to get cold out but I'd say it's been a good night filming raccoons had fun with the game again had the deer come in the yard bunch of different ones tonight that's for sure getting a good crowd so I'm gonna say happy Yoon's Day and good night to everyone oh is this guy cold look at that why are they getting a the thin fur on the back I wonder if it's a seasonal thing so happy Yoon's Day guys take care